All right, y'all. So we're going to get into who's capping. Yeah. Now, who's capping is who's been lying to us, who's been spinning us, who's been BSing us. Okay. And yeah. today, Wendy Williams, how it's you doing? It's about time. Wendy. How you doing? It's about time. What she do? Okay. So I need help figuring this one out, so maybe y'all can figure it out with me. So this week, my girl Nene, who's going to be on today's new episode of my podcast, Lip Service, available on all major platforms. Make sure y'all go listen. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So, Nene, Marlo Hampton from Atlanta Housewives, and Wendy Williams, how you doing? We're out and about in NYC this week. And a photo circulated of the three of them at my very favorite high-end department store, Bird Off Goodman. Now, if you're not familiar with this store, I'm going to just say it ain't cheap. Yeah. It's on Fifth Avenue. It's in New York. It carries everything from Chanel to Cartier. Right? Okay. So, Wendy took to her show and accused the store of this. We not just shopped, we went upstairs and we had lunch the whole bit. Like, it was the three of us take over. And can I tell you something about security? They treated us like the hood that they treat us. And that's all I'm going to say. You can earn what you want, you can do what you want. But when you are what you are, you better not be surprised at how people treat you. Now, being a person of color, I'm sure we've all experienced a similar situation. Unfortunately, Wendy's shopping partner, Nene, Failed to see an issue at all. I don't know what to say about that because, no, I was there, but I didn't see it like Carmelo saw it. Mm -hmm. I did see security, and um, but I just thought the security was just there. I don't know. And I think, I, I, I didn't get it. Marlo mentioned it to me. She said, do you know the security has been following us since we got here? I said, really? <laughs> Not that said, I'm strange. Trying to, I'm trying to keep my shopping discount up in here. No, right. I'm just, I'm curious because <laughs> uh, Marlo and Wendy, I just want to know why they capping. So people are already talking about them. So I just want to know, why would Wendy, Wendy, why would you make this up for more attention? I get the fact that you finally have friends. No, you know, no shade but wow. shade. Now, if this was true, let's just say it's true, right? Mm -hmm. I would say that they did come in there looking like they had on a disguise, very disguises. They look very Joan the Scammerish. Yeah, you got the blonde wigs. You got the glasses. You're all covered up. <laughs> Sounds so like set it off to me. So maybe security <laughs> might give you a little extra attention. Right. And if they know anything about Marlo, according to the Internet, she has a questionable bass and scamming. So I get that, you know, they would follow them around. But also, Wendy, you're famous, girl. People are excited when they see you. They know who you are. They're going to follow you. They're going to look at you. They're going to want pictures. That comes with the price of being a celebrity. Poor you. So um, my stylist, she's a black woman, and she actually works at Bird Off Goodman. So uh, she actually caught me when they came in the store, and they were so excited. They were like, oh, my God, NeNe's in here, Wendy's in here. Now, let me tell you a little something about stores that have expensive $14,000 gowns and stuff like that sold in there. They have a whole security team that you don't even see. Right. They have an eye in the sky. Big Brother is always watching. Kanye goes in there. Beyonce goes in there. Kim K, you know, like a lot of huge African-American celebrities. Kim K. So they shopped there with no problem. What they do? They shopped there with no problem. But anyway, last time I was in there, I saw EJ Johnson. He was doing just fine. These glasses on my face are from Bird Off. And um, I just don't see a problem. I've never had a problem in there. Never said I done came in there with some hood of hood and been fine. I'm going to say you might end up having to pay for this situation because this is a big company, Neiman Marcus, and defamation goes a long way. I would say that if I felt like I was being harassed or stalked in a store, I wouldn't complete my shopping there. You wouldn't right. complete your shopping. They brought numerous gowns, numerous bags, numerous stuff. They spent a lot of money there. I'm going to tell you, they don't never treat me like this at Tarjay. Or H&M. Uh, you <laughs> and you still at Target all the time. So It is investigation <laughs> hey, right now. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I just want to say I hope this ain't no cap situation. I know we'll get to the bottom of it because, like I said, they have a lot of cameras. And, Wendy, we listen to your tea, girl. Don't make us question your, your credibility with things that you're saying. But I am going to say today you are capping. Um... Sorry, Wendy, you got it. I'm L'Oreal. That's who's capping. You can follow me at Star L'Oreal, L-R-E-L, or at Morning Hustle Show. We are the Morning Hustle.